NumPy package provides basic functions for manipulating large arrays and matrices of numerical data. The SciPy package extends the functionality of NumPy. To be specific, SciPy is a library that uses NumPy for more mathematical functions. SciPy uses NumPy's arrays as the basic data structure and comes with modules for various commonly used tasks, such as linear algebra, integration, ordinary differential equations, and signal processing. Apart from that, SciPy also provides optimization modules. In this video, we will go through a couple of examples to show you how to perform optimization with the use of SciPy. The SciPy Optimize package provides several commonly used optimization algorithm. The modules contains unconstrained and constrained minimization, global optimizations, least squares minimization and curve fitting algorithms, and also wood findings. In this video, unconstrained and constrained minimization is of our interest. The first thing that we need to do is to import NumPy and also to import the minimize from the SciPy optimize. Uh, this SciPy optimize can handle uh, multivariate inputs and outputs and has more complicated optimization algorithms to be able to handle this. In addition, minimize um, can handle constraint uh, on the solutions to your problems. And you can specify three types of constraint that include the linear constraint, nonlinear constraints, and so also the bounds. So let us refer to the examples to define the objective functions, uh, equality constraints, and also the inequality constraint, as well as the bounds. Let's define the objective functions that which is what we would like to minimize. So we have the objective functions. We have the uh, parameters x here, and then x0, um, there we, that is the x1 here, and x2 should be the x1 from the array. And then we just return the um, square of x1 plus x1 times x2. So that's the that's our objective function. And then we can define the quality constraint. We input the x as the parameter as well, and then we assign x1, x2. Similarly, last things that we to return is the x1 um, to the power 3 and then x1 times x2 and then minus 100 right here. Uh, because for setting up of the constraint here, we always have to remember that we need to put everything from the right hand side to the left hand side. So we simply minus um, the 100 right here to make it as a, to make the equation equal to zero. And that's what we like to do. So let's it. And then similarly, we can define the inequality on string. So then the x1 is 2, and then we just return um, x1 square plus x2. Again, we just um, change this to minus 50 to balance the equations. Uh, just like what I mentioned, I need to move everything from the right hand side to the left hand side in order to for this inequality constraint that is um, set it larger than zero. That's the um, that's what I've done here. So the last thing um, 
so here we, we just um, um, defined the objective functions and we also defined the equality constraint as well as the inequality constraints. So now we can move on to setting up the bounds. Say for example, have a bounds for x1 and also we have the bounds for x2. What we need to do is to put a uh, couple width that is a negative one, from negative 100 to 100 um, that is the bound and then we use a list to uh, put these bonds inside this list. And then we also need to create a constraint list. So we have a constraint one. So constraint two. The first things that we need to define is the type. So here, the constraint is a uh, equality type. We also have a constraint that is a uh, inequality type. And then the second thing we need to assign is the function. And what we try to put is this function really back to dictionary that we just created here. So similarly, inequality, like what we've just done for the boundary, we also need to put the constraint into, into a list. So this list, we have the constraint one and also the constraint two. And then finally, we need to give a initial value for this optimization. So as long as the initial value uh, is a reasonable pair of the parameters, so let's say we have the bound from uh, negative 100 to positive 100, so that means any pairs, uh, pair of numbers that in between um, these two numbers uh, should be reasonable. So we just set one one right here. So now we can apply the minimization function. Minimize. The first thing that we want to put is the objective function. And then the second thing is the initial value. The first argument is the methods. And because we are solving the, uh, the objective functions with the equality constraint as well as the inequality constraint, so SLSQP would be a good choice. So we need also set up the provide the bounds parameters as well as the constraints parameters. So we can print out the result here. Oops, we have our, oh, we missed the pass here. So here is the result. Uh, in the results, you should have the value of the objective function and its Jacobian, and also uh, descriptions of the cause of the termination, and also the number of evaluation of the objective function and its Jacobians, and the number of iterations, and also uh, uh, whether the optimizations has been performed successfully or not and also the solutions of the optimization. Instead of using the depth to define the objective functions, equality, and also the constraint, 
Uh, also, we can use a uh, Lambda function to do, do the similar work. So say, for example, we have the objective function. We set, we use the Lambda x, and then we define x zero is the power two plus x zero uh, uh, times the x one here, right here. And then we also have the on string go to a this and have the key here. Just key this dictionary and then we so We change. We just need to change this uh, quality to the lambda function. Yeah. Similarly, we have the x lambda here, and then that should be our free minus one hundred. Similarly, we have the inequality by using Lambda function have the Let's see if I have any typo here. A under so we have the with the initial value and also the bounds equals to negative one hundred and to positive 100 and then we should have similar results so you can see that we just uh, replacing all of the codes above by using just five sentences And you should have similar results right here. And that's it. I hope now you know how to perform optimizations with the use of SciPy optimization module. Thank you for watching.